Hey everybody, Scott Tetwiller here, back with another two minute-ish Capture One video, and today we're going to talk about the Curves tool. Curves tool lives in this fourth icon over, and if it isn't there, you can right click, add tool, and choose curve. Again, you can add as many of these as you would like to your interface. The Curves tool tells you a lot about the histogram of your image, and as you hover your cursor around, it will show you where that value is occurring on the curve. This controls your exposure. Just make sure you don't touch your data, because that's the equivalent to touching the wall, which will cause clipping, which means you lose the data. The same can occur on the shadow side. If you'd like a deeper black point, pull the curve in. If you'd like to adjust the brightness, similar to the slider you find under the basic exposure, you can pull the middle of the curve down, leaving the white point where it is. This adjusts the mid-range areas of the exposure while leaving the high and low points alone. One of my favorite things to do with the curve is to raise the white point just enough to bring some interest into the shadows. In fact, to do this so often, I have created a preset for it. Capture One's also unique in that it comes with a luminosity curve. This allows you to adjust the luminosity of the curve, of course, but without adjusting the colors as you would in the RGB. This means that when you pull down on this curve to adjust brightness, for example, you get a little bit different result and a lot more paler image. This opens the door for you to use more color balance to adjust the way the image is perceived rather than adjusting it in RGB as most of us are used to seeing. Remember the histogram tells you a lot about the image you've taken. Half of your image data lies here in the brightest part of your histogram. So if your image is underexposed when you come in and you're typically used to using this exposure adjustment to fix your image, you're not using your camera to its fullest extent. Always try and shoot to the right. Keep an eye on your exposure evaluation inside of Capture One to see how you're doing with your camera. As you see, I've lowered this to almost a stop because this is the original image, but this is well within the range of my Sony A7R III. Pulling it down indicates that I certainly didn't clip any of the image, but now I have a lot more detail on the blackest blacks of this coat and little to no green. You can also adjust the curves for any of the specific colors, red and cyan, for example. Taking the point and dragging it off the curve is the way you delete it. You can also click the point and hit the delete key on your keyboard. The green or magenta and then blue and yellow. One of my favorite things to do is to take the black point of the blue and pull it up just a little bit. This introduces a slight blue cast in the shadows, which I find very pleasing. Once you find something you like, you can always save it as a preset so you can use it again later. But most of my color work I prefer to do in the color balance tool, but both tools achieve the same result. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Stay safe.